starts tonight, baby. The retribution begins. Welcome everybody to Buenas. Today, a very special guest with me. We're coming live from Austin, Texas at America's Academy of Pro Wrestling. And I have, a, like I said, a very special guest, Mr. Chris Ross, AKA Zeke Rose. What's up, what's up? Guys? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. It's good seeing you, bro. Yeah, man, pleasure. Yeah, last time we were here, um, it was fun watching the wrestling matches and just kind of, you know, everything that was going on, it was amazing to see. So I'm glad that you were able to take the time off to come and do this interview with me. Um, Loteria, have you played before? This is my first time, man. Your first time, I'm good. A, I'm a Loteria virgin. Yeah, so, is that what it is? Yeah. So here, <laughs> gonna... Pop my cherry, dog. I love Let's it. Go. I love it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> super simple game. Uh, basically, uh, just Mexican bingo, as some people like to say. But um, we're going to flip cards. We're going to get to know you a little bit better. Again, Buenas was to spotlight and uh, highlight people like yourself doing things uh, creatively and, and just, you know, it, it, there's a lot that goes to it to do something like this. and. I want to kind of get behind what it is to do that, man. So again, thank you so much for allowing us to invade your space and uh, hey, get to know you, you a little better. Thank man. you for thinking about me, man, and Always, allowing man. me the opportunity. Of course, of so course. I'm excited, man. Let's get, this let's get it. Rolling. Yeah, let's do it. So, uh, <laughs> Mr. Zeke Rose, you want to tell the people a little bit more about yourself? Yeah. So um, I grew up a military brat. Uh, mm -hmm. Father was in the Air Force. Um, I mainly grew up all over the world. Uh, primarily here in Texas, Washington, New Mexico, and Arizona, and back down to Texas. Yeah. Um, I, uh, you know, lived here in Austin, graduated uh, Pflugerville, and lived in Houston for a minute, and then moved back up here and started my training in wrestling. Yeah. So here I am. So just like, I mean, you were everywhere then, just all over the all place. All over, all kinds of cultures, man. I am very, <laughs> I am Captain Culture, yeah. <laughs> if how, you will. How was that? Like, I mean... I was just born in the same place. I lived, uh, you know, one place my whole life. But right. like moving around and stuff, I'm, I mean, how was that like? Uh, I mean, it has its pluses and minuses, man. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I was supposed to. Uh, yeah, I, you see, I, I don't want you to get distracted. Dog. Yeah, but if you don't, yeah, it would be good. Uh, but I mean, bro, uh, it's it's been a journey, you know. Uh, for one, you know, I get to see different places, meet, you know, different people, yeah, uh, different cultures and societies. Uh, on the flip side, though, uh, I mean, I know you've, you know, lived in the same place all your life, so you probably yeah, have yeah. the same group of friends or uh, whatnot, but I'm very uh, all over the place. So I've had to make friends like every two and three years. Yeah. So uh, one thing I do appreciate is that I'm able to, you know, get out, get myself out of my comfort zone, uh, get to know different people, uh, get to know uh a little bit more about myself and put myself in situations to grow. Yeah. So uh, I am very appreciative of growing up in that type of lifestyle. So yeah, man, and I'm sure that you know, I mean, you got to learn how to talk to new people every exactly. two to three years. Like that must have been a skill that not a lot of people have, but yeah. something that you know you got to learn, especially when you're and in the man, military and you, just moving you around. Either, you either sink or swim. So yeah. Uh, like I said, it's either one become a loner all your life, or two, you know, get get to know yourself, put yourself in different situations and find different opportunities. Yeah, so I like that. I have a question, but we're gonna hold off till we get to more of that. But okay. you you moved around, You get, did you get one? Nah, no, man, ah, you're I'm good. Still, it, still. It'll come, it'll come quickly. <laughs> but yeah, um, come on. <laughs> uh, so you graduate, you said you were moved around, moved to Houston and then you went, came back to Austin here. Mm -hmm. um, just what, what were your hobbies like? Like, I know we're going to talk about leading into the wrestling and everything, but like what led you to, to end up here? So, uh, honestly, man, I am a person of the spotlight. Yeah. Um, I mean, I grew up playing uh, football, basketball in high school. Um, then uh, I started doing music. So uh, one thing about myself is that my, my father, he's a preacher. Uh, oh, okay. So he's pastored a lot of churches and I've done, you know, every single church he's been in, I've been involved in their music. So uh, I, I immediately gravitated to that. Uh, graduating out of high school, I was in numerous bands, uh, toured all over the country. Wow. Uh, you know, those are 
other experiences. And, you know, while being on the road, uh, you know, me and my homie Mo, we would start talking about- Shout out, uh, Mo. Shout out to my, my boy Amador. Um, <laughs> We would talk about wrestling, you know. We would yeah. just like be on 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 uh, you know tour rides, just talking about certain promos, uh, putting up, putting out certain wrestling situations, and I yeah. was just like, man, you know what? I want to do this for real, you know. And it wasn't until uh, I started working at Apple and I was done with the music thing and I was just strictly going to school mm -hmm. uh, that I thought about you know seriously considering it. Uh, so one day for. Uh, in 2016, as a birthday present to myself, uh, I w uh, participated in fantasy camp at okay. Reality of Wrestling, which is uh, led by Booker T. Oh, wow. Uh, so yeah. shout out to the five-time champion. <laughs> That's in Houston, uh, I believe, yeah, too, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was during my time in H-Town. Uh, dude, I loved it. And yeah. I was just like, you know what? I could do this for real. Um, one thing that was a challenge was I was not in shape. Um, I would. I uh, was out of sports for like maybe ten years, so uh, it was a journey, right. you know, getting myself back up to a physical level of doing wrestling, uh, doing anything physical in general. Yeah, and uh, things didn't work out for me there. Uh, obviously, you know, you have bumps in the road. Life happens, right? Uh, and I had to get back on my feet. And my parents welcomed me back home here in Austin, and that's when I found AAPW. And I guess the rest is history from there. Yeah. Okay, I'm Ray Campos. I am the owner and CEO of America's Academy of Pro Wrestling. Awesome. Uh, give us a little background uh, on yourself, Ray, about your, your time in pro wrestling, how you got into it, and kind of how your story developed. Um, started wrestling in 1995, summer of 95, and I went and had a career 18 years long. I retired in the uh, summer of 2013. Um, wrestled a lot of places, did a lot of things. Very blessed, very good career I had. Um, met a lot of people, made a lot of friends. And um, today, I'm the owner of America's Academy of Pro Wrestling in Austin, Texas, which at the time was not named like that, but it was the same place that trained me. Awesome, and you know, now, now that you're at this point in your career, you're doing this, um, you know, what does that mean to you to be the owner, operator, CEO of this organization, to see these students come, come through your- Well, for many years, I was always number two to the owner for the gentleman who trained me. Uh, after years of his health declining and stuff like that, um, I was able to take over the company and buy the company from him. And when I did that, I was able to establish uh, the, the school, move the location, expand the location, expand the school, make it to what it is today, having you know a production team, a concession, a merchandise, three rings, you know, and the, and the field, it's what you see what we have, you know. And tonight you'll see what the show's all about. So you see the fans and everything else going crazy. So um, that was something that kind of encouraged me to do all that and just to be a part of it now behind the scenes. So that's, that's amazing, man. I mean, like, you know, like you said, life happens and sometimes, you know, things don't pan out the way that you want them to. And you just got to, you know, you have a plan. It doesn't work out. You just try to come up with a new one and, yeah. and keep it pushing. You got to you got to be able to pivot. You know, yeah. like I said, things happen in life. Uh, doesn't mean that the dream is dead. Uh, all it means is that you just have to find a different way to approach it. And uh, luckily, uh, you know, Papa Don was able to give me that chance. And he saw a lot of potential in me. And you know what, it had, it had to take a little time to find that potential in myself to keep pushing through those, those issues, those problems. Yeah. And man, I'm so happy I did that because I'm living my best life right yeah, now. Man. Yeah, man, it's amazing to hear. It's great to hear that you're in a better spot now, man. Hell yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Like, you know, through everything that you were going through, the challenges and all that stuff, what was it that kind of kept you pushing? Like, what was it, what was your motivation or your inspiration to kind of just keep on going? Because, I mean, different people have different ways that they kind of deal with problems, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, what was it that, you know, you saw that this was something that you enjoyed and you loved doing mm -hmm. and, you know, it didn't pan out the way you wanted it to at first, mm -hmm. but, so you know something kept you going what kind of what kind of stuff was that that man so a part a big part of it man is my my family you know my my parents has always been my biggest supporters um they're, they've always been the toughest on me but it's just because the world is not yeah easy right you know it's mm -hmm. not going to take it easy on you and it took me falling on my face you know there was a point in time before I moved here where I was homeless, where I just kind of just, you know, fell on my butt. And I yeah. had to, you know, think about what it takes 
to be successful in life and I wasn't doing enough. Um, another, another uh, I guess, motivator, uh, one of my favorite basketball players, Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Um, the mama Kobe. mentality, if you will. Yeah, uh, Kobe just has a, a way of, you know, having a hard, uh, going at his issues and problems full on, you know, not running away from your problems, but embracing embracing the problems and making in going through those issues, making you a stronger person, you yeah. know. Um, also, a big a big person that helped me push through during the training process, because believe me, man, there was plenty of times where I wanted to quit. Yeah, um, I wanted to give it up. And uh, my girlfriend, Kelsey, she was able to, you know, talk with me during the nights where I was just not nah, feeling it. Yeah. You know, I was just like, man, I can't do this, you know? Right. Um, that, you know, having conversations with my mom and also my coach, man, he's he's been my biggest fan, my biggest motivator. And seeing how many people were behind me just put a second, third, fourth wind in me, man. Right. So yeah, having a good support system, yeah, right? having exactly. people behind you that that keep you pushing, man. Exactly, that's good, man. So yeah. talk, talking about getting back, you were talking about how you needed to get back into shape the first time you came around. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of people like see wrestling, and I don't know, you know, some people think it's fake, some people don't think it's fake, but uh, the, and, and they and, I, and I'm mm. sure some people look at it and it's like, oh, this could be pretty easy, <laughs> you know. And you were talking about how like you were, out, you know, maybe you were out of shape, you hadn't played sports in a couple of years. Um, what is it like how much work do you need to put and and how taxing is it to actually be in the ring doing all that stuff man? Honestly, like do you man, feel tired after the match like how tired oh, are you man. after the match oh man definitely uh one thing i will say is anybody who looks at wrestling and say oh it's fake it is not fake. <laughs> the bumps are definitely real the punches yeah. are definitely real um it was one thing to get my body used to taking that impact and everything like that um, but another thing too is mentally, you know, yeah. um, it's exhausting and especially the training process. Um, it is not, uh, it is not for, uh, it's not aerobics, you know, it's right, not, right. it's not Pilates or anything like that. Like, it like is running just yeah. balls to the wall. Like, I mean, I've played football, I played basketball. Wrestling is definitely the hardest thing that I've ever done wow. in my whole entire life. Um, but it's also rewarding too, man, just because. Uh, if you're able to withstand the punishment and the uh, fatigue mentally, I feel like I can do anything. Yeah. Like, seriously, if, if you put anything in front of me, I can do it. Yeah. For yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. I like that. You know, it's just like, I'm sure it's because you are taking like hits and you're falling to the mats and it's i mean the mat i'm sure there's like something under it that helps but it's still it's like still a plywood. hard yeah mm -hmm. yeah that you're falling on and stuff <laughs> man so that's got to be tough to kind of just like go through and try to like manage like how do you even train for stuff like that because i mean aside from doing it over and over again when you guys are practicing like is there anything that you do to just train you're like falling on the floor randomly at the gym just yeah. like taking hits yeah i mean i i do do the stuff here but right also right. A lot of the. Are we finally, on the board? Finally, <laughs> We're on the board. Find this. <laughs> it's uh, looking up. Things are looking up. <laughs> Let's go. Um, yeah, it's it's all about what you do outside. Yeah. You know, um, I believe uh, one of my trainers here, uh, his name is Adam Prince Adam. Uh, he was a very big advocate on treating your body like an athlete you mm -hmm. know most people look at wrestling and think oh you're just you know these are just you know superstars and actors and right, stuff like right. that but you are seriously putting your body through rigorous activity and you know from being at home uh i used to live by myself before i you know started living with my girlfriend i had a mattress on the ground I didn't have a, a yeah, right. I didn't have a bed frame or anything, <laughs> so I would just practice my bumps on the mattress. Nice. Um, I would practice my rolls <laughs> on that mattress as well, with my dog getting in the way. What an, what an ideal bachelor pad, yeah, just like right? mattress on the floor. You just like mess with it. It, it was my personal training dungeon, <laughs> yeah, if you man. will. I um, love it. Also, I mean, my girlfriend is a physical trainer. Uh, she runs Iron Rose, uh, Iron the Iron Rose uh, training group. So. Uh, she was able to put together a good, uh, you know, training, training program for me. Yeah. 
uh, and I was, you know, I've been following it since January 2021. And, oh, wow. Uh, taking the extra time on working on my body, getting it, you know, making my body strong. Um, so basically, whenever I am tired, mentally, I know I'm strong enough to get right, through, a, through a 15, 20 minute match. Well, when he first came to us, of course, he, you know, two left feet, like, like any guy that came to me, you know. Um, I guess one of the things I was very proud of him was his determination that he had. Um, his... Uh, ethic of hard work. He was not afraid to get in there and try it. Um, and I knew that eventually it was going to pay off for him. He was just, uh, there were days that were tough for him. There were days that were hard. And there were days where he probably in his brain wanted to quit. But I would say that he would see less of those days and more of the positive as the hard work progressed. And today to see where he's at today and the changes he's done with his body, um, the way he's lost, uh, not just that, but I want to say probably in the person he's become, um, the human being he's become, because I think wrestling was a major part for him to help him with that. But only that, but it's also has established him to be more confident with his personal life and more um, bold to go after what he wants, knowing that he can achieve his dreams if he just works hard. So I think the Chris that we have today compared to the Chris we have then are completely two opposite Chris's. Um, and it also helped me, you know, for the graduation, man. And the thing about the graduations here at AAPW um, is probably the, what uh, Papa Don told me was it is the most rigorous thing that I'll ever go through in my whole entire life. Wow. Now, maybe I might be lucky enough to do an Ironman match, maybe somewhere yeah. down the line where it's an hour or so. But that's how long my gauntlet was, was an hour gauntlet where I went against every single uh, student and trainer for, uh, I believe, mine was 55 minutes. Wow. So That was to graduate. That was so to graduate. That's yeah. like your final exam. Like, yeah, this is what it's going to be. Yeah, my final exam is, hour match is getting, beat everybody up, getting beat up by everybody. <laughs> now, I can't say that I did get, you know, the... the the brunt in because I am a, I'm a powerhouse. Yeah. Uh, man. Right, right. You got it. You got it. You oh, got it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You see, you might. Uh, you good looking out, dog. But yeah, yeah. I mean, you're you're a pretty <laughs> strong, dude. But yeah. I'm sure it's still like taxing on the body to go through that for an hour long. I mean, yeah, especially being a guy 275, 275 pounds, bro. Yeah. It's it's uh it basically opened my eyes and let me know, hey, I can I can do this. Yeah. In any situation that I am put in, uh, any person that I'm put against. I know I can, do I can come through. Yeah, man. So, what I mean, and, and also like going through that whole 55 minutes to an hour match against everybody, it's like, it's a good way to know that, hey, like you can do this. Yeah. And that's why you're graduating. It's because yeah. you know that, you know, you went through this and you're able to do that. So there's nothing that, that's crazy, man. I, I don't, <laughs> yeah, people, people don't realize like how, how crazy. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. It is definitely <laughs> a workout, especially like 15, 20 minutes of just like, yeah, I couldn't do Boss it. Boss of the wall, man. But the thing is, is that um, just looking back on everything that I've learned, and it was it was kind of like a puzzle piece. You know, yeah. it's like a puzzle. You know, I over the two years that I did train, different pieces were in line, and then you just kind of see the big picture, and it all just comes together. Yeah. So it's a beautiful thing, man. I love it, man. I love to hear you know the success story that you know <laughs> you're, you're it's 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 coming. It's on its way, That's little by little. It's it's. We're but getting there. I mean, chapter chapter one is in the yeah. books. You know, I'm on my second chapter now where I'm actually getting out there. I'm meeting people. Um, I'm trying to find opportunities, which, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm doing a very good job at right now. Mm -hmm. And it's just about keeping that same drive and hunger, man. You know, knowing that the journey isn't over just because I graduated doesn't mean I made the WWE or AEW yeah, or like a big whatever. Yeah. Um, it's it's a second part to it. And it's just, you know, getting my name out there. Um, proving myself to not only um, the audience and the fans, but what's important to me is proving myself to uh, the other wrestlers and workers out there and yeah. letting them know that, you know, I'm I'm here, you know, and I and I am ready to I'm ready for any opportunity that that's in front coming of me, your way, basically. Yeah. And and to speak as a testament to what you just said and the hard work that you're doing for people who don't know, you had a match earlier today yeah 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 i did have hey, so we're in austin texas right now right? Right. this is where your the school is located aapw right. is located and right. you 
had a match earlier today mm-hmm. in San Antonio. San Antonio. Which I think is a three hour drive from here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, <laughs> man, and I, I apologize. But, There's a, there, I just found out about this wrestling shop in this mall, yeah. uh, Rolling Oaks Mall in San Antonio, but they put on a show. Uh, basically, it, it, it belonged to uh, a guy named Corvus in San Antonio. And I went against uh, one of my friends and rivals in uh, Ziggy Winston, who actually was the other guy who graduated with me. So nice. uh, he he was the one that went through the gauntlet first, and then I went through the gauntlet after him. So we graduated uh, on the yeah, same day. Yeah. So it's just like kind of like a, a full circle thing. But, right, right. Uh, you guys are coming up to it. Wait, so you saw him go? You watched for like an hour? Oh, I didn't watch. I was just oh, the, you were, you I was were. in the back. I was I was saying my prayers, you know, I was saying <laughs> my vitamins. Like, and like, I was watching, I was listening to him getting beat up. He's just like here like, screaming and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, oh, my turn is coming next, man. Oh, man. But I mean, dude, the guy is talented. Yeah. He's a, he's I also consider him a brother. Um, even though brothers do fight and everything. For but sure. yeah. uh it it was just a really cool experience to uh, you know, graduate with him. And I mean, I've had a couple singles matches with him outside of here. And actually, uh, him and his tag team partner, Cortez, who was a tag team champions, uh, I I got the tag team, I uh, won the tag team belts from him and uh, yeah. uh, Cortez, Viva La Rasta, uh, with my tag team partner, Aaron yeah. Atlas. Shout out <laughs> to my boy, Aaron. Uh, my boy is killing it out there. We just dropped the belts to... Um, two kids by the name of Houston Hendricks and Wentworth. Um, they did cheat. It took <laughs> both of them to pin me. So I got some unfinished business tonight. <laughs> got, I got some I got some plans flowing in my brain for tonight. But um, but yeah, man, I, I, I work a guy today by the name of Corey Constantine. Uh, I've, I've seen him, seen his stuff on social media. Yeah. Also a talented wrestler. I'm looking forward to mixing it up with him tonight as well. Yeah, man. And, and again, just, I mean, to have a match earlier today, I mean, right now we're kind of in the evening, but to have mm-hmm. a match earlier today, drive three hours, get here, mm-hmm. do this with us. Thank you again for taking the time. And then hey, having man. another match right after that. Mm-hmm. I mean, man, what just the hard work that you put in, man. And I'm sure it's a grind every day to, to, oh, man, it's, to do it's, it, man. But I love it, though, man. I yeah. love it. Like this is this is what I've dreamt about from day one, from the from the times where I was riding around in the tour van with my boy Mo, uh, you know, talking about wrestling. Also, my boy Garrett. Shout out to Baton Rouge, Garrett Sia. Um, yeah, I mean, we would just talk about this stuff, and for me to do this right now, it just motivates me to keep going. Because who knows, man? The sky's the limit, man. Yeah, and absolutely. All it takes man. is hard work, bro. That's it. Just work hard, little by little, man. Little Chip by little. Away. Exactly. I love it. You did have this one. I, I didn't want to say anything. Uh, I didn't want to throw tree. you off. You know here. what? Palm yeah. trees are my thing, man. You're two uh, away. Whoo. Could be there. Let's go. So, has he sang for y'all? No, I didn't know he sang. Oh, I have to. I'll take that to the point. Thank you. I didn't know that. that that's, that's our secret. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, I'll get it out of one day. But yeah, thank you. I didn't know. And, and is there anything? Talking about that, like, when did you realize that? Like, what moment was it that it clicked that you're like, man, this is something that I might want to do? Because I know you know, I know you're with Mo. People who don't know Mo is our uh, lead videographer and one of our creatives here, mm-hmm. which I appreciate him. Shout out to Mo. But uh, like, when did it click that it was like, oh, you know, like this is this is. Was there a moment where you realized that it was like, okay, this is something that I want to do? Yeah. Like, were you watching a wrestling show and you're just like, you know what, let's just do that. Two moments, man. For one. Uh, it was right after I signed up for Reality of Wrestling. Um, my boy Mo again came through. Uh, there was a, a the, one of the biggest independent shows in history, All In. Uh, he bought me a ticket and said, hey, man, do you want to take a drive to Chicago from Houston? Yeah, I was drunk. Yeah, we drove from Houston to for Chicago a wrestling match? for a wrestling show. Oof. Yeah. What fans? God, man. And I mean, I was always a big fan of like, you know, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, New Japan. And for them to put on a big show like that, yeah, I had to be a part of history, you know? Right, so right. the moment we got there and I saw the whole setup, I was like, this is what I want. Yeah. And seeing the entrances and everything like that, it just like lit a fire in me man like i already had the fire in there but it was just like throwing gasoline or wood on it right, and it just right. like grew. Just... over time you know uh reality starts setting in and the fire kind of dies down 
uh, I had a match with my with my tag team partner Aaron Atlas. Uh, it was a gimmick match, skull on the pole. We had okay. we had so my my uh, at the time I was brother Zeke, and I used to wear you know a skull face paint and everything, and the mm-hmm. skull was my gimmick. Right. So we put it on a pole, and it was just like okay, first guy to get to the pole and like, smash smash that person across the head. Yeah. Is the winner, <laughs> and probably one of the my best matches yeah. and one of my favorite matches to date and just experiencing the crowd and how into it they were and i mean even to this day i still hear people chanting for that match man and it just like let me know you can do this yeah. you know this is this is this is not um a far stretch as far as I thought it would be yeah uh, yeah, yeah. it is going to take some hard work and but it just let me know hey it's, it's close. The yeah, it's reachable. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I mean, sometimes people just have a like a dream that they feel is like <laughs> so far away and unreachable. And just like, you know, little moments like happen like that. It's like, OK, this is this can be a real thing. It is right. a real thing. Yeah. Like you're, right. you're able to go and get it. Yeah. And like I said, man, um, being able to experience something like that. And I mean, from then on out, you know, I was able to to learn, you know, from certain people. Uh, one yeah, being uh, Steve Arena, dude. One more, one away. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, go ahead. Finish, finish the story. Finish the story. Uh, yeah, I was, I was in another tag team with Steve Arena, the Deadly Alliance. I learned so much from him, with him being a former champion in in many promotions. Yeah. Uh, learned from him. Uh, also, a guy by the name of Lawrence Potello, uh, who I would like to be in the tag team one day, now or never. Uh, but I, I had a few with him and it was one, like I said, it was just one of those moments to let me know, man, this is, this is going to be, this can be a real thing. Yeah. So man, now that I'm looking back on it, man, it's, it's been quite a journey. Man. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to have a moment now, just the reflection on everything that you've been through. But yeah, it is crazy. And people don't, man, like it, it's just small steps and, and you don't realize that until, you know, it all it all adds up and then once you kind of look back on it it's like everything that happened you know little by little you got to where you are now and it's just it's a marathon bro yeah it's a marathon it is. that the is thing true is, is that you know there's there's plenty of mistakes you know and one thing i would say for anybody who's either considering wrestling or anything in life you yeah. know uh any any hobby or dream uh is to know that whenever you start something new it's okay. It's you're gonna suck. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna suck. Fail. it's a, it's a yeah. part of the process, yeah, right? Um, but one of my biggest uh, pitfalls was being hard on myself, mm. uh, being being a perfectionist, uh, learning how to use my failures as uh, learning tools rather than failures. You right. Know? And knowing, you know, where to pick up the pieces and where to keep going, man. Love it. Very inspirational. And <laughs> and it is true, you know. Don't. You're going to fail, especially when you try something new. Just got to learn from it. Don't take it like, oh, I failed. It's just, you know, use it as a learning lesson. Exactly. Learn from it. Move on. Exactly. That's it, man. Exactly. So did you have this one? I don't know Not if I even had nah, this man. one. I got this El Pino, but yeah. <laughs> Wild and crazy. <laughs> That's the best I can tell it to you. Entertaining for the whole family. Um, a moment in time you'll never forget. Can I keep going or is that it? <laughs> okay. okay, I mean, you know, um, let's see, uh, you know, um, it is uh, where dreams come true. And I'll say where wrestlers become wrestlers, where wrestlers become champions, not only in the ring, but in life. But, you know, speaking with um, in wrestling and, you know, how people have like, I mean, you had to have a love for it growing up. Mm-hmm. Right, it wasn't oh, something man. that you just had it. What, oh, what, man. what? Like growing up, you used to watch the matches. Did you play the video games? Yeah, man. So I, man. So I'm a big on the attitude. I'm a big on the attitude era, man. Yeah, same. Um, WCW, uh, you know, Raw's Raw's War. Um, my favorite video game, uh, Boys Down to Two, uh, One in Sixty Four, WCW versus NWO. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Old school games. And yeah. then uh, terrible graphics. Terrible graphics. Great gameplay. Yeah, I just love perfect it. Perfect at the time. It was. Uh, second would be uh, 
SmackDown versus Raw, like 2007. Wow. Yeah, that was a good one. So good. That was good. a great one. So good. I, I would stay up all night playing those games. Yeah, I mean, it. not to get me wrong, but this this new uh, WWE 22 is yeah, great. 2K you know, and everything. I always use it to like put together move sets for myself. Yeah, yeah. My oh, gear, there you go. Yeah. That sort of thing. So, uh, so yeah, man, I love, I love the wrestling video games. Yeah. And what a creative way to like find ways to kind of play with your character as well. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like a good visual. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? I love it. I'm that's a that's guy. Yeah. And, and that's like, <laughs> you know, you got to find different ways to kind of grow yourself, man. Right. And that's, that's one of the ways hey, that I think that's modern, super creative. Man. Modern problems with hey, modern, modern solutions. solutions. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. So what do you have? Um, what do you have planned for the future, man? I know right now, you know, you said you were in chapter two, kind of everything's kind of going great. What do you, what do you envision yourself in the next couple of years? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, finding that next opportunity, you know, uh, traveling, getting, getting more ring experience. Mm-hmm. Um, I know uh, I, I, I recently ran across an interview or it was like an old like talk show interview with Bret Hart and Edge was in Edge was in the crowd and he was just like asking what what I should what should I do to get to the next level and it's just like yeah. hey man get as many reps in as you can which is why I did that match earlier today right, right. you know um, it's not something that you had to do yeah, but you, you yeah know, I want to I want to be in. better you yeah. know I want to be better and the only way I can do it is to get in the ring doing it you know um, and I would like to be I I, I uh, accomplished the goal of being the champion here we getting the tag team belt but. My goal here before I leave here is to become the America's champion, and that's the top dog, uh, which uh, one of the guys on Culture Shock CJC is holding right now. Yeah, um, I'm gunning for that spot, man. I, that's that's the that's the number one goal for me. And then from here on out, uh, like I said, just getting out there and getting my name out there. Yeah, where's he at? Is he here right now? We can go get him right now. Oh, man, he just walked past <laughs> here, you, man. Oh, did he? <laughs> Damn, we should have got him while we had the chance, right? right? <laughs> God, man. Yeah, it's messed up. Um, Ooh, let's go, baby. Buenas. You, get out. <laughs> yes. you, 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 yes. you were off to like a terrible start. Ooh. You didn't, you didn't get one for like six cards, and you got it. You got to add it. You got to put it on there to make it official, though. <laughs> like a true champion, man. Let's go, baby. Zeke Rose, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you taking man, the time. I Is appreciate there you, man. anything that you want to tell the people? Yes. Uh, so. One, um, I want to say, uh, if you're ever if you're ever free on Saturday nights, um, come down to AAPW. Uh, look us up on Google. Uh, we're on social media, uh, Instagram, and if you're uh, you know not in the Austin area, you can always uh, you know tune in via Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Uh, we stream on those platforms every Saturday night, uh, eight o'clock Central Time. Uh, it's about a two-hour show, man. So if you want to see some some good pro wrestling with some rising stars and rising talent, which I do feel like we do have uh, some of the best up, up-and-coming talent here, not only in Texas but in the world, uh, check it out. Um, and another thing, too, is that if you're looking to uh, step up your, your physical um, your, your, your physical uh, appearance uh, or, you know, your athletic ability, whatever you're going for, uh, look up Kelsey, Kelsey Rose, reinventing Kelsey Rose on uh, Instagram. She is running Iron the Iron Rose, which, like I said, this is where I get these guns hey, from, baby. Hey. So check it out. Yeah, man. Well, Zeke, I appreciate you, man. Again, thank you so much for for giving us your story and and hopefully this inspires somebody to do what they want to do and that's what it's about man so i wish you the best of luck and everything and i'm excited to see the future for you man hey i'm looking forward to talking with you later on down the road man yes sir appreciate (laughs) you man thank you guys well our shows are on saturdays from uh, eight o'clock bell time we have a show tonight, actually, here at AAPW on May the uh, 14th. Our next show will be May the 28th here at the AAPW Arena, uh, where you get to catch all the talent, all the local stars of AAPW, and all the future stars of professional wrestling starting here and becoming the brand names that they are. And uh, this is where it all starts, right here, at a place like this. And uh, just come be a part. Uh, I promise you won't be disappointed. Come on out. It's a family atmosphere. It's a lot of fun. And uh, check us out on our website as well, officialaapw.com, and official AAPW on all social media, as well as YouTube and Twitch and um, 
uh, let's see, YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. There you go. So yeah, check us out. Uh, if you have any information, you can also email us at officialaapw at gmail.com. If you're interested in becoming a pro wrestler, hey, do it. You got nothing else going on for you. I promise you, you'll never be the same. All right, I appreciate you. Thank you, guys.